searching organized content is the uh, objective. As people conduct searches like this one for test, we need to be able to sort what types of records a user might be looking for. Conversely, if someone's logged in based on their role, they might get different results for the keyword test or whatever they happen to be searching. So that searching is very, very important. But like we say, uh, you know, search relevance is relative. Uh, sometimes an algorithm can't predict certain things that might occur. Hence, advertising, or what we call our advertising suite. For an example, if someone searches the word pizza, how might we recommend this specific keyword, you know, click here for more on pizza, so we can get kind of out in front of those normal search results and push the right recommendations to the right people. For example, we might just be featuring this uh, product or the service for you know two weeks out of the month for an example so there's a time basis there's a notion of who's searching and what they need to search so if we look at the back end we have a module suite called advertising and advertising has a lot of different uh, possibilities first of all let's take a look at the word pizza and you see here's our message that we uploaded uh, promoting uh, pizza now this message may have only ran for a certain period of time so we might only want to feature a certain thing you know for a week or two weeks whenever you want to and this is because someone searched the word pizza just to show you what I mean had I searched the word banana we're able to now make these kinds of uh, controls so for example now if I search the word pizza I will not get it no feature for pizza and if I search the word banana I will get it. So this is uh, tools that ordinary people can use to control how certain users get certain information because advertising can be very targeted. We might need to say, look, only certain users, you know, only users within this community coming in from China uh, who are certain types of members, maybe on, on login, only they would see that because it only pertains to them. And that's how we're able to serve targeted advertising uh, to different people. So we could have said that that might appear not based on a keyword being searched, that may have appeared uh, within a certain uh, uh, navigation item. You know, for example, maybe they didn't have to search a keyword at all. Maybe they just needed to click on the word uh, sitemap, which is one of our navigation options here. As you can see, here's the sitemap section here. And uh, maybe I want it to appear only within the word sitemap or all of the children under that page. So, for example, I'm just going to say, let's just have it apply to uh, the sitemap navigation. So that, you know, you don't search anything. In this case, if I do search banana, I will not get the results. But if I happen to click on sitemap, I will get the results. Now, maybe I want it to appear on that section in all of its children. Right now, I do not have it on all of the children, so any children site pages under there would not have it. And again, if I wanted to change that, I could say, let's show that on that navigation section and all of its uh, children, include children, yes. So now with that simple change, uh, I will see pizza here, I will see pizza here, and I will see pizza here. So again, it's, it's allowing us to target these advertising messages to the right people. If I were to say that advertisement again is only for people who are logged in, uh, so that way, you know, again, it does relate to those sections, but it won't show up for a public user. Uh, for a uh, private user who logs in, it will show up. So here I am, I don't see it. And for the people who do log in, I should see it, providing that I've set it up. Uh, correctly. So now, oh, looks like I don't have sitemap set up here uh, to show you. Oh, yes, I do. Here we are. Let's go to this page here. Uh, let me find a link that opens up. Our, and here, we, oh, see, there we have it. So we do have pizza showing up for only the right audience. So advertising is very important to get the right message out to the right people and also consider when it starts and what it ends within uh, that campaign. So when it comes to advertising, we're looking at advertising campaigns, how long do they run, who gets to see them, and I'll just put this uh, example back relative to the word pizza. So that's just one example of how we can manage advertisements. And we use the term advertisements very loosely because sometimes it's not a message that you're managing. Uh, it might be an ad script 
from a third party provider. So you might have a partner who wants to serve ads on your site. And of course, in that case, they need to get reporting on their ads for um, GM or you know Pizza Hut or whatever it is. So here we would drop in the script provided to you by their partner uh, advertising agency at Pizza Hut. Uh, so that's how we manage ads. Another uh, interesting thing about ads is that sometimes we have ads that are serving in the same location, but they're rotating. So maybe when we do search pizza, one day we might get this ad, the next uh, time we might get a different ad. And that's where we start splitting hairs and we get into what's called ad zones. And let me just explain ad zones. An ad zone, I'm going to create new ad zone here. Now, this ad zone, do I want it to automatically filter by the audience that people are on? Likely the answer would be yes, because when you're managing ads, you're gonna, you want to target your ads to various different channels automatically. Uh, and the ad zone, think of it as an area of real estate. And so I'm creating this thing called new ad zone. Now, under the zone, we have banners. And here we have two example banners, tile one and tile two. So it's slightly different blue color. It says banner one, banner two. And for the banners, I'm going to put those in individually. And again, those might run, have their own separate run dates. But when I add those, I want to add those relative to the new ad zone. So what we're doing is we're grouping a collection of ads to this new ad zone so that when I reference the zone, it will show these things uh, populating in rotation uh, and here's here's why we do this because when you lay out your site you might want to dedicate certain real estate you know maybe it's at the bottom of the home page or maybe it's in the left-hand navigation or wherever you choose to put it here I'm just gonna park it on some ordinary navigation page and I'm gonna call this ad zone and I'm pasting the script for my ad zone for rotation I might want to put number three so that allows me to control the speed of navigation. And I'm going to put that under this contact us section and tag it. So again, this the zones are a little abstract if you're not used to advertising. But if you think about it, um, you don't want to have to go back and place different ads throughout different parts of your site at all times. So it's better to create the zone in these locations so that as you create these different ads, they will show up in rotation. And there we have... Um, let me just reload this here. Here's our dark blue ad, banner one. And if we sit long enough here, it will switch to the light blue ad, light blue ad there. And it looks like I referenced it a couple times uh, within the zone, but you kind of get the gist. That way we can set up a collection of ads that serve through the zones that you've predefined. And that way you don't have a lot of maintenance work later because all you have to do is go and change the banners uh, and uh, they'll automatically change within the placement again real estate holders of those zones that they live in but it's a very nice feature because now you can keep up with different things at different times for each one of these banners and zones um, you might want to see specific reporting uh, you might want to see uh, you know, how many times they've been open clicked on and so this is very nice at tar when you're targeting these different areas of your site you might want analytics or metrics on how well each one is done and to grab their attention. And uh, so, you know, placing these things in the right area and making them attractive. Click here for more help on this. Or, you know, photographs are always very uh, helpful for users. Uh, that's all part of advertising. Another part of advertising is something we call splash pages. And splash pages are these uh, pop up kind of uh, windows. Here I'm going to show this uh, little window here. I can define the size of that pop-up, how large the pop-up is, and I'm going to say let's uh, release this to uh, the main site. I'm going to put this on the home page of my site. Let's have this show up in only a certain size. Uh, I want this to appear, let's say, two seconds after the page loads. And I only want it to uh, display for seven seconds before it automatically goes away. So that we have a lot of control over, again, the placement of these messages when we see them, when we don't. So if I go ahead and re re refresh my home page, within two seconds, there's my window that shows up. Seven seconds later, although we'll give them the option to close it out themselves, it will go away automatically. So that's a really nice touch 
to target the right message to the right user. And of course, within that uh, little splash page, you could have had a feature, a link to the conference that's coming up, whatever the case might be. And again, like all features within CenturePoint, uh, even that splash page could be uh, controlled only for certain audiences who log in or only for certain uh, members who have certain privileges, which allows you to multiply the number of messages and conditions that you would like to uh, send to those various people. Um, the uh, even keywords, you know, certain uh, sponsored keywords. For an example, this is a very neat thing. If I want to look up, uh, let me find a word on the on the page here. I'm just going to find a uh, a record, and I'm going to say that um, any record here. Just a minute. I'm going to say that any word that refers to the word museum. See how you see museum is not featured at all. Okay. Well, what I might want to do is I might want to say, look, let's make sure that the word uh, museum, whenever it's seen, you know, click here for tickets to the museum. And this might be a link to that page where you buy the tickets to the museum. Uh, let me just find a uh, an event here just to make it look nice. So what's great about this is again this might only be available for a week or two weeks or whatever the case is. This might be the page where I sign up for uh, the museum tickets and I'm going to manage that. So what I'm doing here is I'm attributing a keyword that could be found anywhere in the site for a period of time and if it's shown, then it will present me the appropriate mouse over text. And of course, we can stylize that differently. But here we see, uh, let's go back to our site. Let's go back to our records down here, the one that contained the word uh, museum. Here you already see, you know, wherever the word museum is, click here for more on the museum, click here for more on the museum. So if I go to this record and I look at the uh, anywhere where the word museum appears, I now have this, and this is an amazing feat here. This is called reverse hyperlinking. And this means that we can now control the time period in which certain words prompt people to different places. If I click on that link, it will take me directly to the museum ticket feature. So what we're trying to do with advertising is really uh, corral uh, users to the places where you want to drive them. Uh, you also want to make this kind of an uh, a ever changing ecosystem where you know these words and definitions and features change throughout a certain period of time which makes it very nice because if you have a schedule where you need to market certain things throughout the year seasonal conditions peaks valleys you can sit down enter in your ads enter in your zones enter in the beginning date and the ending date in which they're supposed to run and of course throughout the year they will run automatically and will all uh, be able to track all of the reporting. So advertising, although initially used for publishers and more aggressive kind of marketeers online, uh, we think that this is very important when it comes to um, uh, conditional logic to communicate with your people. Another nice feature in here is called search redirect. And let me just show you what I mean here. Um, back to that link, I just, I still have that link for that event. So if I happen to search the word event, it'll take me directly to that page. So I don't even want to give them the option. So for example, here, if I search the word event in the keyword, this one I'm doing up here, just to draw your attention to that, I search event, it's going to take me directly to the event uh, information and form to register for the event, that sort of thing. So uh, again, a normal search would bring back normal results. But if I search the word event, it just overrides the whole search and takes them to where we want them to be because people are spending so much time sifting through and trying to find things uh, whilst at the same token you're trying to direct them you know, ex you know specifically to a certain place or page so advertising gives you a lot of control and each one of these require you know nominal training how to manage advertising uh, if you walk through these help files like I just showed you they're pretty simple to set up we can also set these up for you but Advertising is a great way to target the right message to the right users uh, on a time basis so that it can change uh, throughout the year. A little side note on that is um, when it comes to marketing, a lot of people don't realize that your designs or styles of your website can be done the same way. So the entire site design that we've set up, we might have a separate design that we create just for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 
So for example, we could take uh, this record here. We could copy it. We could then create this one and call it Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This month. And of course here we might change the color schemas to pink. Uh, or we might choose to add a logo of your company that has the pink ribbon around it, you know, or we might have different images set up for that period. So what's great about this is that um, even the designs of your sites can change throughout the year. It, just keeping a very relevant, fresh look. You'll see this done on Google and other leading search portals where, you know, their logo changes uh, to uh, commemorate certain things. You can do the same thing in our platform. So for more information about advertising, please contact your production manager or your analyst and uh, step back and think a little bit uh, about who you're trying to reach, where you're trying to guide them, uh, what is the time basis of that? And again, what real estate within your site would you allocate toward those types of features uh, in, the, in the issue of zones, you know, where you want uh, featured ads showing in certain places? These are all things that we ask you to think about as kind of best practices uh, because you don't want to overwhelm them with advertisements that take over the page and, you know, forget the main message. These are just little helpers along the way to get them to where they need to go.